Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play Excite Truck on the Nintendo Wii. And uh, just take a step back with me for a second here and uh, picture the year 2006. The Wii has just come out, and uh, you're one of the lucky ones to have somehow managed to find a Wii on release. And uh, you've already played like 457 hours of Wii Sports and are looking for something a bit more exciting. <laughs> so you go towards the, something that can only scratch your itch in the best ways that, for racing wise, because Mario Kart's still years away. And that means Excite Truck. And uh, like that's the thing is, I was even just looking through the back of the box uh, right before starting to play this back up again. It's been so long, but uh, you know, it's saying but like, uh, get excited. Speed through the craziest off-road racing ever, and I was just thinking, like, did this come out before or after Dirt? You know, it's it's a little bit debatable in that case, right? But uh, I think I should just get back into this and see that, like, you know, clearly, uh, back in the day, I was the master of this game. That's why I was called Yoda. <laughs> and uh, let's get into some exciting races here. Cause like that's the thing too is like I'm actually impressed like going through my profile and stuff like that. Cause like I think one of these stars means that I actually got an S rank on like every single race in that section, which is pretty impressive if uh, I do say so myself. Like still, this this game was just legitimate and fancy back in the day. But that's the thing is like Mirror I think was a little bit too difficult. And since still I haven't played in forever, I think it's time to go on to my home field advantage of Canada and uh, select from one of the many, uh, many trucks uh, in line here. I was kind of thinking of like trying out a rad because of the fact like, you know, if you're playing something called Excite Truck, you have to have the most radical kind of uh, vehicle that you could possibly have. Uh, and that and also, uh, I only just was realizing this from a little bit of uh, looking through the menus again, that uh, on the right side it shows like how many races are, uh, you have run and also your S grades. Like the best ratio that I've had in all of these is actually a rad. Three races run, three S grades. It's time to wreck my uh, previous stats from playing this game from forever ago. Oh man, for a second I thought that said Nightmare Black exactly what I'm hoping for. This, this game's the the nightmare that you only could ever hope for. That's that's kind of the premise of I think the nightmare would be, is that you're kind of just like, you're, uh, you know, walking down the street and then all of a sudden you get kidnapped and to get forced into the most intense races that you ever did see. And if you don't get an S rank, you get a finger cut off. And it's also, you're playing on the Wii with the motion controls, so it makes it more difficult. Oh no. Let's see if I ever remember how to play this game. I'm assuming it's probably the two button to go. Oh no! Because that's... <laughs> the controls are so sensitive. Because that's the thing, even just from uh, playing this game, uh, well, playing just the racing games in general in the Wii. Uh, such as uh, the very fantabulous uh, Mario Kart Wii. Oh no! Uh, you do kind of... Uh, that, that game's not too intense uh, when it comes to... Uh, uh, very sensitive controls. <laughs> nice crash! Cause that's the thing is that uh, even if you crash in this game, it's all about the, the fancy looks. <laughs> I think that, like, uh, I don't remember exactly how to spin around in circles. Yeah, because, like, that's the thing with this game, too, is that it is pretty cool that they do, like, you can, like, terraform the roads. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think I'm uh, going nearly fast enough. It's also, like, if you, uh, if you're not boosting off those jumps, you're doing it wrong. Because, like, that's the thing, is that there is some sort of weird mechanic where, uh, if you're in the water, then you, like, lower your temperature of your vehicle. <laughs> like, still, this this game's a pretty, uh, pretty intense thing. There's, there's a lot going on, including tornadoes. 
Come on, second place man. I'm coming for you. Yeah, because look at all the stars. This may be in Canada, but you, you think that this would be the the United States with all the, the various fancy stars that I'm getting. But not really, because I only have... Yeah! 42 at this point. Oh no. Because, like, that's also the... Ooh. Yeah, I don't remember how to do tricks. Like, legitimately. I think that you are supposed to, like, press uh, some sort of uh, very fancy things. Oh boy! Rings! <laughs> Still, this is... It's been a long time. Truck smash! Because if you just, like... I think that's the best strategy just in general in this game. Just hit every single other vehicle and then uh, good things happen. That and also you gotta take all the, the various uh, exciting shortcuts that you can possibly have. Oh, just like this one, actually. Because if you're really good at dodging trees... Well, <laughs> relatively speaking... <laughs> oh, you get a lot of uh, very fancy stars that you can use for basically nothing. Other than just bragging rights. Here we go. I don't care how little temperature that I have left. It's all about the speed. Oh, boy. I'm not even too sure what the bar on the left side even is for. <laughs> Just realized that right now. But it's probably something slightly worthwhile. There we go. Oh, I was really gonna try it that time. It's like, how do I manage to... go off a jump and then do s several spin moves? Because that's generally the way you do things. Is that after you, after you go over a giant, absolutely insane jump that would probably kill people in terms of G's. <laughs> Both positive and negative G's at the exact same time. How is this possible? Yeah, I'm nowhere near as good as I used to be. <laughs> Only two rings, but four nice crashes. You know that uh, you're doing well if you're if you're crashing in a way that uh, the game thinks that you're doing it nicely. But yeah, because like that's the whole reason like that this game has so much replay value actually is just because of the fact that like you have to do various uh, things to give you more stars and get graded all the way up to S, which still I haven't even done the best scores on mirror mode so far. So maybe I should get back in this game and. Uh, become a professional, professional speedrunner in Excite Truck. Because that's what everyone only ever dreams of in life. Well, mostly still the nightmares, of course, but, you know, that's, that's besides the point. But, uh, yeah, so I, I didn't get an S, so that's, that's like one of the fingers chopped off the Yakuza style or something, right? But, yeah, I don't remember how to do air spins, necessarily, so. Hey, I got better than uh, one of my various scores back in the day. Even if I did take uh, more time to get through it. Uh, let us go next. I might even just quickly go and check what my, uh, like, tutorials are like to... Lifetime wins! Oh, man. Like, they're just... This is the original Call of Duty right here that they give you all the medals that you could ever hope for. That and also more uh, super, sm super truck smashes... Okay, like, legitimately here, I I'm gonna, gonna check my tutorial. So I think it's stunts. Let's go stunts one. Because this is not only a tutorial for myself. This is a tutorial so that you can see what uh, all of the various stunts there are in this game. Like air. Air is a stunt. If you just breathe it in, you're having the greatest stunt of all. Living. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> um, yeah, air spin. This is what I need to figure out. You can earn stars by spinning the truck around in the air. Which seems really ridiculous if you think about it. While airborne, press and hold one and, <laughs> and the D-pad. 
because, of course, in this game you don't actually uh, press on the D-pad in order to move. You have to only do motion controls, which makes this uh, a bit more of an intense game than most would even be even considering in their life. Uh, swing the Wiimote from side to side. Or what you do is that you, you hold it down and somehow spin it above your head. Basically, you have to use the force. That's, that's probably another reason why I have Yoda as my uh, my title for this game. It's not my name, it's my title. The title of Yoda. Okay, let's... Yeah, there we go. It takes a bit of practice. But, uh... Because also, that's just the weird thing, because, like... The, uh... The D-pad, just in general, is to give yourself a boost, which I only figured out partway through that first race. But, uh... You also have to press the one button. Which I think is mostly just the brakes, so... It does, uh, take a little bit of, uh, concern. When you're just going, flying through the air at very top speed. Yeah, I don't know what a truck throw is anymore, so I might actually look that up. Truck throw. If another truck is driving over a train morph... Oh, when you trigger it, that truck will be thrown into the air. Yeah, it's probably mostly luck than anything else. Activate the morph to throw the opposing truck into the air. Okay. Yeah, because, like, also look at the graphics on the back of this truck. That's... this is, a uh, prime, uh, 2000 and, uh... Oh, boy. Aw, oh, I think I missed it. It's prime uh, 2006 graphics right here. You ran out of time. Oh, man. Well, at least I know what truck throw is now. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> it was just so shiny, but not at the same time. It's like the anti-aliasing didn't exist back in 2006. Which, for all I know, let's say it didn't. This is technically, like, 480p as well, so, you know, just gotta up -res that to a few times to make this uh, video hopefully look a little bit better. Probably won't still anyway, but... Hey, once you get to a certain point of, like, graphics in terms of cars, and, and specifically trucks, I guess, in this, then all is uh, very fancy and whatnot. Oh, man. Finland. Iceberg Run. That sounds amazing. Still, like, I don't remember, like, any of these things, really. But, like, it seems like they would be amazing. Well, specifically the beach run, because I think that this has a lot of morphing terrain in it. And a lot of turns and, uh, fun times. So... Actually, I thought that the Mako was actually a pretty good truck from what I remember, but maybe not. That and also, I didn't even... I didn't even know of all these fancy changes you can do to your vehicle. Well, look at this. This is the, uh... cheese, broccoli vehicle of legend right here. I think I'm gonna change the color to make it a bit more electric, maybe. Nah, let's, let's keep, uh... Let's keep this nice and cheesy and broccoli, because we, we gotta be very healthy when we're on a, a fancy vacation in Fiji, uh, lying on the beaches. It's the only way to ha keep your energy up for all the long days of uh, sunshine and whatnot. Trust me, it makes sense. Yeah, this is a, a pretty long race if that's the time limit, 5 minutes and 30 seconds. But I think I'm gonna be... Oh, boy! Better than that! <laughs> and then I just instantly hit a tree. But... That being said... Still, I'm just gonna... Ah! That guy was in the way! I had no choice but to hit him. Oh, or to hit the tree, because... Oh, no. I think I chose the wrong vehicle. Choose very poorly. It's, it's really hard to actually stay on the road around here. Here we go. It's enough to get one airspin. 
Because that's the thing, is like, I, I usually like to keep uh, my temperature in the, the warning signs at all the possible times. Also, let's, let's go this direction. Just for the fun of things. Maybe I'll get a couple of truck throws. Oh boy. See, that's the thing, is that only counted as one, like, with two individual 360s. They, they, they weren't even compounded. What is this madness? It's just... Uh, I kind of don't want to... <laughs> I kind of want to switch the uh, race here, just, like, switch my vehicle, because I feel like this is... There's a reason why I only got one S rank with this truck before. But that being said, like, you can really, like hot corners on that one uh, area there. Because who needs to stay on road when this this whole idea is to be the off-road master? Ugh. There we go. That's the greatest uh, airspin 720 that anyone's ever seen. So that's also the thing is that I think, oh no. You actually uh, get some truck throws with the the train, like, morphing back into the way it used to be. So if you just be very, very careful... There we go. You get super tree runs and whatnot. See, like, that's the thing, is this is a long race, but at the same time... Oh, no. It's just, like, one huge lap, basically. I don't know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit more again. I probably shouldn't be switching trucks every single race, though. Or else, you know... You can never get used to one or the another. Here we go. Super rings! <laughs> hey, second place man. Yeah, here. Wait a second. I just spawned in. Oh, okay. I think that actually counts because I just pressed the button fast enough. Still, that's the thing. Is I'm, I'm still relearning this game. So much, but, like... It is a lot of fun. That being said, <laughs> um, I just went backwards. Let's cut some corners here. I don't care if I'm overheating. It's time to boost. But yeah, still, because like this game is actually really amazing. But like nobody's ever played it. Like, that's one of the reasons that I like to do various, like, videos like this, is just to- Aw, oh, man. To fall in the water and to question my life choices. That's- that's clearly what it is all about. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, testing out, uh, the waters of the old games that were just so amazing and let other people remember them, too. It's still, like... Ugh. If you don't remember the, the amazing games of the past, how can you appreciate the games of the future? Oh boy. I think if you just keep smashing your vehicles that many times, it, uh... Turbo jump! Aw, oh, man. Somebody landed directly on top of my vehicle. But at least that counts as a super truck smash for myself. I think I'm only gonna get second place. Here we go. Overheat yourself. Nah. Eh. I still got a B out of all that. Can't get any jump combos though. There must be a specific tutorial just for comboing those jumps. But yeah, even just like as I was saying about like reflections and all that for graphics, like even like look at the water right here though. There may be some pop in for the graphics in the background and all that. It does kind of look bad, but... I always thought that uh, this game didn't actually look that bad for 2006 either, like... in terms of... like, if you have water reflections... like, water on the Wii era, that's when things started looking good. I mean, I gotta say... Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I definitely used to be a lot better at this game. So that's the thing, is like, if I manage to do that with only playing this race, like, twice, I got an S. Like, hmm, yeah, my, my skill levels aren't quite the best as, uh, what they used to be. But, 
You know what? I do still know how to get lots of tree runs. And super drifts. Okay, I, I think that it is very necessary that we need to play on Mexico, though. Maybe try out... Actually, the Wolverine might be a good idea. Because I do think I really loved this vehicle. Because, like, that's the thing, is I think, mo for the most part, I did actually choose vehicles that weren't so much, uh... turbo-based, as much as just, like, it's all about speed, air, and grip. That's all you need. If you have a, a, a speedy grip while jumping in the air, that's, that's just... exciting. Yeah. Because... Excite Truck. But yeah, like, that's the thing is, like, I, I remember Mexico actually being pretty difficult to get, like, a lot of stars on just because it's, it's pretty flat. At least in this game. I don't know if it's indicative of real life of... This is what Mexico looks like, of course, that you just kind of have a lot of... Like, umbrella tree wannabes. And, uh, there's just a bunch of, uh, exciting trucks going around. That's the way it works. Go! I was almost trying to do this like Mario Kart. <laughs> it's just, uh, as soon as you uh, go off of a jump, you do a trick. But not the conventional kind. Oh no, like this. Oh boy. That's actually really good that you can respawn your vehicle like instantaneously. That's right. Instantaneously. Ah! I was hoping I can do uh, something really impressive there. But like, the, the train morphs, oh man, are pretty nice in this game. <laughs> Not even trying to get around any of those trees. Oh boy. Because, uh, you know what? Who needs to worry? I'd rather just destroy all the trees. Because, uh, we're doing the opposite of ecology right here. Oh no. See, look at that. That's a jump combo and a half. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want the, the guy in sixth place to feel down. I had to go over there and to see what he was doing. Oh boy. Hey! <laughs> that is kind of the thing, is you can drive on walls a little bit in this game. Oh man. See, now that was the ultimate truck smash right there. I don't think I'm gonna hit my target of uh, well, either the enough amount of stars or finishing the race. That is, uh, yes. That was a good truck throw. I think you have to- oh no. Be a little bit more careful on your motion controls in this game. That's the thing is, it's been so long since I've actually done motion controls that you just don't really remember that you have to have a little bit of finesse to them. Here we go. I actually might have almost helped that guy by initiating the ring sequence. Beta! Ugh. I don't care! <laughs> I don't think I was even gonna finish the race in time. Hey, at least I got numbers on all across the board. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, that I did well, though. Yeah, still, like, I suck at this game now. <laughs> Only ever getting B ranks. Oh, boy. Wow. That's actually really good. Still, I used to be, like, pretty decent at this game, I gotta say. My first time ever playing it and I got an S, and then the second time many, many years later, I get a B. Hmm. But hey, at least, like, there's a lot of people, uh, if you think about it, that would have been very happy in school to just get uh, a lot of Bs and be a B student. That's impressive. At least you're better than a C student. But yeah, I gotta actually do, uh, Finland. Finland Iceberg Run sounds fantastic. But... 
let's let's get something that's a little bit different for a uh, vehicle like a dynamo sounds pretty nice but if you have a razor you gotta just pretend that you're doing stuff uh, like computer well, PC gaming wise and uh, go for the win I know that people in Finland probably need lots of razors or maybe you'd use less, because if it's in the uh, winter, then uh, people just don't shave, because, you know... And nobody got time for that. Ah, oh, see, look at this. Because, you know, it's... It's funny that, uh, all things considered, Finland is the snowy and, like, icy one for the race in this game. And, uh, like, Canada is actually the one that's like, you know, we just got trees! It's, this is the, uh, oh no, this is what happens. It's the stereotypes that you could only ever dream about. There we go. Yeah, I actually really like this vehicle. I think it drives a little bit better than the, the previous ones that I had. But it might also be just, uh, it requires less finesse. Oh boy. Speaking of finesse, still, it's it's really difficult to get those uh, tricks off the jump sometimes. But basically, like, that's the thing, is that if you're not doing a trick off of, like, every jump in this game, uh, you don't get enough stars. You just gotta be constantly thinking ahead of just, like, what are you gonna do? Smash this guy! There we go. And also getting as many tree runs as possible. Because those things are a little bit overpowered. Oh no! I'm upside down! <laughs> I was thinking if I if I land on my side, I can maybe do a cartwheel around. It's a possibility. But yeah, like I actually really enjoy the Oh man. Going like boosting off the jumps like the way that you do in this game because you know, this game is called Excite Truck, of course, right? And it's uh I think it's still Kind of the IP of the original, like, Excite bike. But, you know, over the course of many years. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping it was at least gonna tell me that I got better than 720. Like, I did land backwards, but that's... It's like 900, basically, that I did there. A 900 isn't very spectacular when you're racing a truck. Or maybe it's even more spe spectacular in a way. Because who would have thought you could do a 900 in a vehicle? I know, I sure didn't. Oh boy. Yeah, this, like, icicle run is pretty amazing. Aw, oh, man. I should have just went through the jump combo there. Sometimes you just got to uh, play the easy way instead of trying for all the, the best fancy things there. Just gonna keep smashing this truck for all the points. Ugh. Here we go. This is where all the marbles come down. This is where I pull out the steely and throw a bunch of those on the road. Here we go. I don't have much, but I have first. Hey! See, look at that. <laughs> it's just that easy to get an S grade. You just have the right vehicle for the job. And still just smash everything. <laughs> look at that. 24 stars of truck smashes. Oh yeah! Only my second ever S grade on that. But I think it's because of the fact that like, when I got an S grade on something, I just moved on. So maybe that was... oh yeah, that I got a lot of stars, actually. So I'm, I'm gonna say that was a difficult one, and I am, uh... Before, even just earlier on in this gameplay, I, uh... I was just the apprentice, now I really am the master. Like Yoda would say, but not, because that's not his line. 
but I think that you kind of get the idea of what this game's about now. Like, still, it is a fun, fun game that, like, not many people have heard of. And, like, that's a, a thing that I still don't understand, really, because, like, when you have a game that's one of the launch titles for the Wii, and, like, the Wii was one of the biggest selling consoles of all time, but nobody's played the most exciting launch title, Excite Truck. Cause, like, still... I, I know that just, like, from, uh... Like, growing up, out in the country, <laughs> having toys of just, like, various trucks and stuff and... all those things. That's all you ever want to do, is you just go and, uh... smash things and, uh... race. Racing and smashing. That's... I think that's more of, like, what the, the kids nowadays would be saying. Oh, boy. But, uh, anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, uh, whatever this has been. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time for more just various, uh, random videos like this. Because, still, you gotta every once in a while just play something old and help you to appreciate anything that's actually, like, decent graphics and actual, like, proper controls that aren't motion, because it is weird, but weirdness is a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, still, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah. Goodbye for now.